and we're going to do some walking exercises now. This left hand circle is very valuable. Sit. Good. I'm going to do another one, then I'm going to come back your way. Okay. See how you're always, whenever you turn left, he's drawn back next to you. It keeps the leash loose. Sit. Good. See, we're rewarding the same way every time. Okay. I do a bunch of these every day with him and it teaches a dog to not pull. See how going left draws him back next to you? Sit. You don't even have to touch the leash after a while. Good. Okay. We'll do one more to show you again. If he's pulling or out of control or whatever, do these little, just gentle little prompts as you go left. Sit. And that keeps him next to you. Good. And then after a while, you won't have to do that anymore. So that's a great leash walking exercise. And then you can do that. Maybe just do six or eight of those in a row, which takes you all of two minutes. And then go. Release him to be free. Let him be free for a few minutes, sniff and pee or whatever. See what he just did? He went to the end of the leash. I didn't let him pull me around. I just stayed firm. He went to the end of the leash and it went tight and he didn't feel any give at the end of the leash and he came back to me and he didn't pull. So that's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Just, it's not even um, associated with a command, it's just basic leash walking etiquette. So he can have you know, some free time after you do a little training like that and then you can call him back to come to you again. Come, call him back to you, good.